All right, uh, Shalom, uh, which is to say peace. Uh, first and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach HaKodash, and uh, double honors unto my apostles, the elders of Great Muslim, and uh, as always, peace, love, mercy, and salutations to the uh, 144,000 and also the great multitude, which, you know, um, is a part of the one third, which consists of men, women, and children. Who I uh, believe in our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, now I just want to get into this, uh, Lord willing, uh, short and edifying lesson here on the topic of the wise took oil in their vessel, okay, which the scriptures talk about this parable um, of the ten virgins, okay, five were wise and five were foolish. And we are living in that time right now where we're seeing, okay, those that are wise versus those that are foolish. Okay, and the wise are going to focus on the mission, on the goal, all right? They're going to do exactly as what is commanded of them, and they're going to be prepared and ready for the second coming of, of, of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? And when Yahweh Shai returns, the wise are not going to be surprised, okay? They're not going to, you know, try to, you know, um, hurry up and catch up, etc., okay? You know, be caught off guard, okay, for lack of a better term. That's not what's going to happen with the wise, as you know, as as the scriptures say, okay, that we know, um, you know, what time it is, basically, okay, in the book of, um, I believe, first or second Timothy, all right, and so um, the scriptures, okay, tells us, okay, the things in which the wise are going to be doing, okay, which you know you got to occupy yourself in the scriptures, you got to prophesy, okay, you always got to be a watchman, as the scriptures say, okay, the prophets are a watchman. As Yahweh Bashim Shai set them up, okay, to be watch, watchmen, okay, uh, you know, to be able to see what the hell is going on, link it up with the, you know, uh, prophecies in which is written in the scriptures, okay, you see, and always being prepared, okay, whereas the foolish, okay, they're going to get caught off guard, man, okay, they're going to be asleep, all right, they're going to be busy doing, you know, things that don't benefit them for salvation, okay, you see, and when all shit hits, you know, all hell breaks loose, okay, shit hits the fan, okay, they're not going to be prepared, and so the scriptures tells us right here in the book of Matthew, okay, the 25th chapter in the first verse, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom, and the bridegroom is Yahweh Shai, and five of them were wise and five were foolish, all right, they that were foolish took their lamp and took no oil with them, man, okay, you see, so they were not ready. They don't have the spirit, okay? You see, they're not on fire, all right? They just, you know, just not doing nothing, okay, that would benefit them again, as, you know, as I said earlier, for salvation, all right? But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Why? Because they understand that in order, okay, for you to walk on the righteous path, okay, you got to have that oil, which that oil gives you light, all right? And that light is able to guide you on a righteous path, man. Imagine, you know, you know, um, you're, uh, you know, somewhere in a dark alley and you don't have any light. You won't see where you're going. That's what this world is like unto. Okay. As the scripture says, you know, I'm a gross darkness. You know, I'm a gross darkness covers the people. All right. You know, just to roughly paraphrase. So we're living in the midst of darkness, man. And we, and, you, and guess what? You, you need that oil, which that oil Okay, gives you that light. All right. So, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamp. Why? Because they understand that that oil is very important. You're going to need it later. Okay. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept, you see. And the scripture says what? While it tarry, okay, wait for it. Okay. Though it tarry, wait for it. All right. So you got to understand, okay, that even though. You see, we want Yahweh Shai to come back yesterday. Okay, there are certain prophecies that have to come to pass. And you have to be patient, as the scriptures say. Okay? You see, what are you going to do when the Lord Yahweh Shai and his angels visit you? Woe unto you that have lost patience. So, having patience is very important. So, the bridegroom, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered, okay, and slept. Okay, and at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him, okay? Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamp, okay? 
You see, they trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said to the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. You see, so they weren't ready. All right, they had one foot in, one foot out. Okay, they weren't, you know, fully committed to this truth. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. That's right. You know, there's not going to be enough. Okay? You see, you can only save yourself. And even then, you can't really save yourself. Okay? My point is what? Is that is that you got to do the work in hopes that Yahweh Bashi Masha delivers you. You don't have any power to deliver anybody else, man. Okay? You see? You don't even have the power to, to deliver yourself. Okay? But you got to do the work in hopes that Yahweh Bashi Masha accepts your sacrifice and that you be delivered. Okay, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, you see, wasting more time. Okay, the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. You see, and the door was shut. Enter ye into thy chamber for a little moment, right? You see, because nobody got time to wait for y'all, man. Okay, we're not going to waste any time. Okay, afterward came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. You see, you know, they were begging. And what does the scripture say? Okay, I never knew you. Okay, because you're going to have a lot of people in these last days. You know, they're going to, you know, try to call upon the name of the Lord. Jehovah Hashim was just going to say, I never knew you. Okay, you weren't on the program of the Lord. Afterward came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. And he said, and he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. You see that? Watch, therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. See? You don't know. Nobody knows, man. Okay? We don't know the exact day and time and minute. Okay? But we know the season. And it's going to happen in this season. Okay? This, you know, uh, you know, um, this period of time. Okay? Why? Because we understand... The scriptures tells us about prophecies. When you see these signs happening, then you should very well understand that the Most High Yahweh will begin to visit the world which He made. You see? Now let's get more precepts. The book of uh, 1 Timothy, chapter 4. Okay, verse 13. Let's get that. 1 Timothy. Okay, uh, chapter 4, verse 13. It says this right here. I, it says, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. You see? So this is what you're supposed to be doing until Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai makes that second return, man. Okay? To what? To give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. You got to focus on this doctrine and know whom you've learned it from. Okay? You see, these are the things that, what, you know, that the wise, that the five wise are going to be doing. Okay, why? Because the spirit has to be ready, man. Okay, your spirit got to be up to part. Okay, you can't just be doing whatever the hell you want. Okay, and still expect, okay, that when Yahweh Hashem Hashem returns, that you're just going to be, you know, one of the first to enter into that chamber. No. Okay, you constantly have to what? The scripture says what? To examine thyself, whether you be in the faith. Okay, it says, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. Okay, with the laying on of the hands of the purpose tree. Okay, you see, so every brother, every sister, okay, we all have different gifts. Okay, we have certain abilities, okay, and talents in which the Lord Yahweh Shemashah had given us, neglected not. It's beneficial for the body. Okay, you see, you got to, you know, put, you know, that talent, okay, that gift in which Yahweh Shemashah had given you, put it to work. Okay, and like the elder um, Ariala said, okay, out of GMS Dallas, focus on your strength. Don't, you know, don't be focusing, okay, so much on your weakness. Focus on your strength, okay? You see, your weakness is another brother's strength, okay? You see, and because we are a body, okay, you're going to learn from that, man, okay? And so it says right here in the book of um, Salakia, did I read to verse 16? It's like if verse 15, meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy uh, profiting may appear to all. Okay, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, 
for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee you see that because there's going to be other righteous men other you know of the fruit in which you know you will wake up other men and you know or women okay and so those scriptures is telling what is what continue in them take heed unto thyself okay and unto the doctrine of the lord yahabash and this is how we're going to be able to have hope lord willing to be delivered in these last days man okay revelation chapter 1 verse 3 you know where it talks about it says blessed is he that readeth all right blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand okay so when you're reading you're what as we read earlier okay to what to give attendance to reading okay because when you're reading Guess what the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Moshe will sup with those men that are sincere. Okay, that the Lord Yahweh Hashem Moshe is working with, man. Okay, let's get another one. First Thessalonians chapter five, one. Okay, and down. First Thessalonians five, one and down. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. You see, and so Paul is saying here, what that you don't need to be told. Okay, you should know already. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, you see, because that's what happens or that's what's happening right now. Okay, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Okay, ye are all children of the light and children of the day. Okay, we are children, we are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for and for an helmet of salvation. For Yahweh Shemasha had appointed us, okay, had not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Mashiach, man. Okay? And so you have to understand these things, man. Okay? That what? That the wise took what took took in, okay, took oil in their vessels. Okay? They were what? They were not of the night. They were not sleeping. They were not slothful in business. They were not sluggish. Okay? They were constantly what? They were constantly alert and watching and being prepared for that second coming of our Lord Yahabashim Shai, which you know goes into us what? You know, continuing in this work and in this doctrine, which we read earlier, man. All right, so I just wanted to bring that out. Lord Yahab Hashim Moshe, will anyone say anything? Until next time, Shalom. Yahab Hashim Moshe, Barakat Shalom.